So we have morning meeting where students and teachers make announcements and we have two schools on this campus, Rolling Hills Prep and Renaissance School. So all the students get together, we hear the weekly announcements and then at the end of this meeting, Cakes for Causes made their donation to Special Olympics for $500. Um, thanks to you guys, we were able to raise $500 for Special Olympics, and this allows us to sponsor an athlete for two seasons, and that's including training, competition, transportation, and uniform. So we just want to thank you guys for all your support. I started Case for Causes because something similar was at my old school, and so we each bring, like, two or three different um, go like baked goods so some of us will bring brownies or cookies and then we just go around the school trying to sell them and kids are really into the food so that's how we sell that much. Some of our stuff's made um, like Phoebe one of our uh, members she has really good brownies and those sell well but other stuff we just buy from like Vaughn's or Ralph's. Um, every other week I made brownies that my mom always makes. <laughs> they, I think it was because they're really like thick and big brownies and they're brownies and everyone likes chocolate. <laughs> well, $500 actually sponsors one athlete for one full year of sports training. Um, so the way our program is set up is uh, our year is divided into two seasons. So that allows the athlete to practice uh, two separate sports within one year. Um, and that includes weekly practices and competitions, uniforms, transportation to competitions, uh, which could be anywhere in the Southern California footprint. I have started with Special Olympics for 13 years and the uh, first sport that I played was swimming and I was really motivated by somebody who's in my family mm -hmm. so I'm really happy to be involved. Well, let's just say this is through uh, swimming for a while because I started that before sp basketball. I mostly get, get um, the bronze or the, um, med or the um, gold sometimes but I also get a ribbon. Um, Kaylee used to be shy and it's given her opportunities to try new things, not to be afraid of new sports. She can go out there, it's a safe environment. She makes friends, um, it's a very supportive environment. And everywhere she goes, she feels very welcomed and loving. Um, so it's not a place where people get rejected and are afraid to try anything. Um, Kaylee's not shy at all, she's been given the opportunity to be a global messenger for Special Olympics, which means she goes and speaks at different events. And um, so she's been trained in how to public speaking. So it's much more than just sports training. Um, now she's the, the receptionist for the World Games, for Special Olympic World Games coming this summer. And every day she wakes up so excited um, for what the, new, the day is gonna bring her. Her staff welcomes her and encourages her to grow and to be her best. How about those? That's great. <laughs>